Oh, we got another update on spawn slash not really an update because there's not any updates on this ever. But hey, look, Jason Blum says spawn reboot will be the, and I quote, Blumhouse version of a superhero movie. It's going to be edgy and original. Oh, so edgy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. shouldn't be edgy. It should be horror. You know, spawn is horror. He's literally Hellspawn, right? Like, it shouldn't just be, oh, I'm an edgelord. No, thank you very much. So, for those that don't know, this has long been in the works. I mean, straight back from 1990s, uh, this has been in the works. And we're 30 years on. This is, n I'd be very surprised if this happens. I don't want to say it's never happening, but, yeah, it's, I would be very, very, very surprised. And this kind of stuff, saying, oh, it's going to bring a Blumhouse edge to spawn. Oh, God. No. That's, that, that is not a selling point. Now, by and large, Blumhouse has produced some good films. Of course they have. Of course they have. But they also spew out an absolute, like, well, a litany of garbage. Uh, and that's because of their business model. Their business model is going cheap release it, and try and turn as much money into a profit as possible. So it's quantity over quality when it comes to Blumhouse. And and you know what? They are generally quite successful in terms of what they do business-wise in terms of profit. They, they, they don't do too bad. Now, the main issue with this Spawn reboot has always been Todd McFarlane. And I know that's controversial to say. Bizarrely, that is controversial to say to some people. But he has been the issue behind this thing the entire time. Because he wanted to write the script. He wanted to direct the movie. But he doesn't want to produce it. He doesn't want to put his own money up for it. He doesn't want to sell the rights. He wants to be writer, director. He's never directed anything bar some music videos. Sure, they were, they were fine. It's not a movie. And as a writer for a feature film, terrible. This Spawn reboot script was floating around before. I've got it. You can find it online. It's absolutely awful. Spawn becomes a bed. Yes, Spawn hides as a bed. And then Spawn is like some... I don't know, fart gas in the you know in the wind blowing ar around. It's awful. It's a terrible, terrible script. And he's been the main stopping point behind this the entire time. Because people just don't want him on board. You're not going to give him... Oh, here you go. It's $50 million. Make a Spawn movie. Oh, brand new director. Nah. So, Jason Blum is bringing the Blumhouse Edge to the upcoming Spawn film adaptation. Again, when is this happening? So, during a press line for Blumhouse at New York Comic Con per screen rant, Blum teased the Spawn movie currently in development at his eponymous production company. It's going to be edgy and original as compared to other superhero movies, it's going to definitely feel like a Blumhouse version of a superhero movie. And that, ladies and gents, I can hear a thousand million people cry out as if being sodomized by a pineapple. Because a Blumhouse version of a superhero movie is not actually a selling point, uh, Jason. I don't, I don't know if you realise that, mate. That's not actually a selling point. At all. That's, that would actually put a lot of people off. Believe it or not. That would put a lot of people off. A Blumhouse version of a superhero movie. Yay. Great. Can't wait for that. So Blumhouse Productions is best known for producing horror movies such as Megan. Get Out. Megan was actually quite good. I enjoyed Megan. Uh, Get Out, Paranormal Activity, Insidious, I like Insidious, uh, and the Purge film franchises. Back in 2017, original comic creator Todd McFarlane announced that a new movie based on his human-turned-hellspawn was in the works at Blumhouse. McFarlane, who's on board to write and direct the film, is also producing with Blum. He's not actually on board to write the film anymore. He's handed that over, so Variety, you need to stay a bit more up-to-date on this, mate. You, uh... Didn't do your due diligence, did you? So, and here's a statement. Uh, at the time, anyway. We just signed Jason Blum yesterday. 
Cool, fine. No more, uh, you know, theoretical, it's coming. Get ready for it. We're going into production. I mean, that was in 2017, mate. So this is what I mean, like, it's, where is it? This is trash. Jamie Foxx is set to star in Blumhouse as uh, Spawn. And McFar uh, McFarlane's anti-hero film uh, as Al Simmons, aka Spawn. In the comics, Spawn is a human turned Hellspawn. I mean, you know who Spawn is. Spawn looks cool, right? But they were going to hide him. That whole film, they were going to hide him. So he was going to be completely hidden for the entirety of the film, just basically appearing as other things and predominantly being Jamie Foxx. That's how he had written the film. Todd McFarlane, by the way. Terrible. Genuinely terrible. And so this is the interesting thing, right? So Spawn, 1992 from Image Comics. Uh, then 1997, so pretty quick actually to jump into a film. And then you had uh, 1997 to 1999, there was an animated series. And a lot of people just want that. But then at the time when that was cancelled, when it was taken off air, Todd McFarlane had said way back then that they were going to do another movie. Way back then they were going to do another movie. So this whole, it's going to be edgy and original, no one cares about that. And telling people, literally in 2017, so six years ago, get ready, no theoretical it's coming, it's going into production. No, it's not, mate. You're full of shit. And I understand the need to build hype, but this is the same principle which happened with uh, Judge Dredd Mega City 1, right, from Rebellion. When they announced that, Probably about the same time, actually. It must have been 2016, 2017. It'd be about the same time. They announced that mad hype. Everyone was crazy for it. Everyone was really excited for it. I went up. I interviewed uh, the executive producers on it. Everyone was really excited. And then fucking crickets. Nothing. Absolutely nothing ever since. Well, some teasers here and there. No one. You can't do that. You have to ca announce it when you're going to jump on it. It's like they're taking a leaf out of Kathleen Kennedy's book with Lucasfilm. We'll just announce everything before it's ready. And then you, everyone just loses faith. They just go, you, you crap, go away. So anyway, apparently it's going to be an edgy Blumhouse superhero movie. Can you feel that pineapple yet? Can you feel that pineapple yet? 